I'm Derek and this is Vice Grip Garbage. Now, you guys know me for the American muscle cars and classics that I just love. Big V8s and cars like that that we go out and find haven't been run for 10, 20 years. You fellas and fellets enjoy, seem to enjoy watching me get those things going. But as you know, there's other things other than the big old cars are sometimes we got a snowmobile or or a diesel or or well today we got a tractor something special for you about a year ago i sort of bought this tractor accidentally sight unseen and a mate of mine in the great state of well, we're in that state right now i've come here flown here without much toolage we're going to go and find that um, tractor. It's in this uh, yard somewhere. My mate says that the tractor is uh, being sheltered in his chicken coop. So we've seen some old iron in some pretty strange places. I'm not sure we've got a tractor out of a chicken coop before. So that's a plan. Nope. We're going to find this tractor get it out of the chicken coop, then I'm planning to drive that tractor 6,000 miles home. That's as much of a plan as the guy's got at this stage. flew into the state where my friend's been looking after this tractor. We're in the same state that The Simpsons was based in, that famous show, that very American show. Now, 23.75% of people didn't know that that was based in this state. So, fellas, somewhere in this, uh, in this yard, there's a chicken barn that's big enough to... Oh, wait a second. A chicken barn that's big enough to hold a tractor? Well, surely that can't be it. Well, I'll be dipped in jam and chained to a wasp's nest. That tractor right over there. Let's go have a look. Okay, so we're making our way across the field here. Not a big one. And this, well, I'll be... That, that seems to be a chicken. I can even see... I can see glinting in there. I think we have ourselves a tractor. Now, it's maybe it's a mite smaller than I imagined. Uh, this is what you get when you buy something sight unseen. Let me see if I can get you fellas in here and fillets. Okay, so, excuse me, chickens. I've been uh, driving on this tractor here, but uh, let's just... Let's just walk around this for a second. So I like to just walk around and soak it in and have a look at what I've got here. What I'm seeing at the moment is, is no door on this here chicken coop. We might have to get creative somehow and find a way to, I think, without doors. Yeah. We're going to have to get creative and maybe spend us some money, which, as you guys know, we are a bit allergic to doing here on this show. So I found me a neighbor with a helicopter, and wouldn't you know it, for just a six-pack of beers, good old boys willing to lift that tractor out of that coop for us so we don't have to cut a big door in it or anything like that. Okay, here's that. Here's that chopper now. Well, ain't she a beauty, fellas and fillets? With the 
straw lifted off this old girl and put on this here uh, lifting device for for us over here I like to just walk around and drink it in for a little bit look at it from every angle see what we got here and uh, James from East Texas you uh, put a comment on the last video that you tried walking around your um, recovery and banged into a wall and you were wondering what you do in that case so let me tell you James you, you don't recover cars with a wall beside them that's just this ain't gonna work so first thing we need to do here is uh, I like to look in the trunk because that's gonna tell us a story if we got a head head gasket or a, you know a head valve sitting in there that's not a good story to tell but um, so well hang on let me have a look here I'll be dipped in special sauce and fed to grandma. We don't seem to have. Don't seem to have a trunk on this beauty. Okay, so can't get you in there. Uh, it's gonna do that, but bring you in here and nope, that's not gonna work. A guy's not gonna be able to work in that chicken coop with my Sasquatch elbows. So first we've got to see whether we've got uh, ice cube juice in this thing. We're going to check, see if we can find sparkleaters on this. And I can see one. Has this only got one? One sparkleater? I'll be dipped in chicken shit and straw. We've got one sparkleater here. One light in the tube. Uh, It's a good idea before we just rip into this and check the starter motor edge we are gonna just turn that over got compression lots of oh lots of compression a little bit of valve train noise but she rotates she rotates now starter motor edge you ain't got no Start a motor edge gears. Okay, neutral gears. Clutch. Okay, steering. Got steering. No power steering. No air con fuel. Make it happener. Could be in here. Radiator. Possibly. Over here, we got exhaustage here. Um, not seeing any. D hang on, we got digicals over here. So uh, we still got chicken coop in there. It's not a problem. So I think the uh, ice cube juice goes in the top there, and oh, got an ignition over here. No. Um, No key needed. Let's see if we've got sparkage going to here. Let's just take this. We're just going to take that sparker later on out of there, and it's going to tell us a lot about the health before this here was parked up. Plan. Let's have a look at the interior here. We don't have any problem with doors. We ain't got no doors. Okay, it's got. Oh, yeah, that's. Well, we got a powerful, powerful odor of uh, 43 and a half day old chicken underwear. We got s snail foot. No, what's that? Slug foot disease. mold slug foot mold we got eel is that eox that that is a just a touch of granddad's old vintage hearing aid later machines there with side helping of 
Who do you? Earwax. That's okay. Just pretend we didn't smell that. I wouldn't have believed this if I hadn't seen it. Get this thing up off the ground. Uh, gonna get this up on blocks if we can. Yeah. She is a difficult one. Didn't bring any of my tools with me. That That is not steady. Let's just chop those wheels for now. So let's, uh, let's check if we got any gasoline, oil, fuel. Don't smell any fuel in there. Uh, we don't seem to have any sparkling. We don't seem to be having any ice cube juice there. Let's see if we can find oil. I think we should be getting this power bonnet off. We're going to gonna try and get this going without getting the power bonnet up off of this thing Let's see if we can find some oil in this oh, oh, okay okay we've got a drop of oil on there and West Texas crude probably 56 no 57 five percent gasoline from that era uh, not bad considering it's because we don't seem to have a starter latent motor machine for this we're just gonna so a guy's back and I've uh, disconnected the uh, fuel line from the fuel make it happener which is hiding up in this pre-tanned air cleaner over here and with the fuel disconnected if we got bad fuel in here then that's not going to suck that into the engine when we first try and turn this over we're just going to put a little bit of fire fire water in there try and turn this thing over and see if we got spark do we have spark Let's check this out. Okay, that wasn't too hard. Just a single sparkulator on this old girl. It's interesting. Bit of a change from a big V8. Okay, let's have a look here. Ooh, that's pretty dirty gonna clean this up a bit gonna just drip some marble mystery oil in there in the bore get those rings freed up right. marble mystery oil is good stuff but I don't know what's in it mystery let's see if we can clean up this here sparkulator got us brushage sparkulator is not gonna resist looks just like oil she's running fat okay that's fine hadn't been leaned out sometime in its life by hoons I think that sparkulator is good to go but if we test it is it gonna burst into flame well let's find out probably not a good idea so we're gonna go on and do that okay cannot see what I'm doing just gonna have to listen oh we got we got sparkage strong sparkage pop that back in there do that up tight with the do hickey thing getting exciting we're gonna try and start this up by hand be dipped in acid with my head and shoulders chopped off. I know we've got sparkage in there. Let's just drop a little bit of fuel 
fire water straight into here. Okay. That's way too much. She's fine. I'll be dipped in dog shit. That is a goer. She's a goer. I don't know how many years this has been sitting, but uh, okay. A little worry about rust from the fuel tank under there, but I think we just go ahead and see if we can get it going. Running out of time here. If I'm going to be driving this thing... 11,246 miles home, uh, then a bit of getting onto it. So, um, mm. fan test. Okie dokie, we need ice cube juice. Come on. Oh. Ice cube juice everywhere. Oh, for goodness sakes. This has got to be the worst way possible, putting water in this here machine. Can't do it slow enough. Going to find out whether we got leakage. Now, as you know, Brakes is always a problem for us here at Vice Grip Garage. Wait a second. Whoop. Don't want lightning juice getting ice cube juice mixing together. Not good. The guy is getting mighty excited here. We've got um, good compression. Uh, Marvel Mystery Oil. Don't know what's in it mystery that's helped get the rings free over there and uh putting fire juice in the uh, fire juice fuel make it happener is giving us a little bit of running she's a runner we just need to keep this thing cool we're gonna run it 19,725 miles home We've got to find a better way of getting that water in there. It's going everywhere but where we actually want it. It's going in the carb, it's going in the fuel tank, it's going on the... Just going everywhere. If we're going to get this home, I have a... I have a thing, I have a thing with a kid and I can't be late for that. Okay, I think we've got ice cube juice. Okay, we better make sure it's in neutral. No starter motorage. Need a little bit of fuel directly in that carburetor again. Fuel make it happener is primed. She wants to. She wants to start. Oh, we got fireage. Hey! Oh. Yes. 20 years, if not 30, or 40, possibly 50, and it's a little bit of smokage coming from that exhaust elator over there, but that 
just shows us we got oil, we got Earl, no we got Earl in there, a little bit of valve train noise, she's working, good sound actually, from under the old power bar, oh, what happened there? Try that again. Oh. Fantastic. Never gonna find that. Flicked off somewhere. Alright, there it is. Just gonna let that ease into it for a while. Get that old Earl moving around there. Use that diesel oil, Rotella, heavy duty diesel oil. It's got all the good vitamins and little minerals that a fella wants, that a guy needs. Okie dokie. We're about ready to see if we can't drive this thing 19,345 miles home to Tennessee. Plan. Nope, that ain't happening. Whoa, she's off. Well, at this speed we might get about 10 miles per gallon, maybe. Maybe, sorry, 10 gallons per mile. We got a home, 27 and a half thousand miles, very good result, love it, God bless America.
Thank you.